Hey, Devon Digital here, and we're just here to talk about why I really enjoy this device, and maybe you might enjoy yours too or not. There are a few things to cover right here. I want to say that I'm one of those Pixel Fold users. Actually, I'm new to the foldable phones in general and as a regular user or i guess you could call me a tech enthusiast still but i do use my phone like a regular consumer would in general situations but with that being said i actually find myself using the foldable screen way more than the outside screen though i do still use the outside screen but i actually enjoy most of my content from the inside screen than in the outside screen or on the outside screen the 5.8 inches is is really a nice sweet spot for like being able to use it with one handed but i do get it that this foldable is kind of clunky when you got it folded it's a little thicker than usual than your usual phone and i did see that the honor had dropped a foldable that is incredibly thin so that lets me know in the future that foldables are going to get as thin as basic phones and they're going to be come the new normal one day and i can see this actually happening and that's just my take on it you know you can definitely disagree with me if you want to i get it that um there's other companies that don't have a foldable now so you probably literally don't care about foldables but until that company makes one then you may change your mind about them because i personally didn't care about them either until i decided to go with the pixel fold and i opt out of getting the z fold at the time because i actually looked at it in store several generations like the third the fourth and the fifth and the narrow display on the outside is just too much for me i get it i could have bought it used it and got used to that screen but i just didn't want to because as a consumer when we buy things we want to buy things that we want and i knew that and i knew if i waited that samsung was going to actually give us a better outside display but they didn't not yet at least the rumors is that the six will be this video is not about samsung though but then here comes to the rescue pixel google they decided to drop a foldable and to my surprise the screen was a usable screen so this was the first foldable that i picked up and i'm really enjoying the experience in fact i love the experience so much that slab phones feel really long now compared to the 5.8 inch and like when i grab a slab phone it just feels really like stretched <laughs> now at this point and that's every phone that i've grabbed my galaxy s23 ultra as well as my pixel 7 pro and 6 pro and even my 7 it just feels so stretched but it's okay i don't mind um i just got used to the 5.8 small stubby screen that is on my pixel phone but the thing about it that i love the most is when i open it up that i can view everything in a much much larger canvas and it's really incredibly i haven't had any issues with the camera quality i haven't had any issues with the battery making it through the day actually i can go probably a second day not like a full second day but if i um i would say that if i wake up in the morning time i could probably go to about 12 or 1 o'clock p.m the next day before i actually have to throw it on the charger but to be honest with you the reality of it is that my first week testing the battery it was incredibly good i mean not incredibly good no, i'm so sorry it was kind of bad obviously because uh the machine learning and the adaptive battery had to kick in and once that kicked in the battery just became really really good as always and after that point you know i've been making it 24 hours throughout the day now i will say now that i'm through the testing period of my battery i actually do charge it consistently and i don't mean like because it's about to die i just use android auto when i'm in the car so therefore i plug my phone up and it's charging there's no way to get around that because i don't have wireless in the car so it i actually have to plug it up so therefore when i'm traveling back and forth to work or my photo shoots or wherever i go it's being plugged up and i'm getting battery from it so that would be the only case that i would mean that i'm plugging my phone up but other than that I don't really plug it up and it's it's making it throughout the day but i'm done testing so at the time when i was testing i wasn't using android auto i was trying to kill the battery to see how long it lasts throughout the day now that's over i don't care anymore i really don't care i charge my phone whenever i can um the outside screen 
um, it's really, really good. Um, like I say, it's one handed usable. I love it. Inside screen, um, it's great using obviously with two hands. It feels like a tablet. I know a lot of apps don't um, fit up there, but I don't have many apps that don't fit um, properly on that tablet. There's maybe a few. Uh, I could probably count five on my hand total, maybe at max. But other than that, I do wish they would get a tablet version. And I wish that Google would push this effort a little bit more. Um, even though I see that they're doing it, I just wish it was, you know, I guess to us, we want things to happen way faster, but we got to realistically give them the time to do so. Um, other than that, I think that the charging on it is pretty fine. Cause like I say, I'm not never in a rush where I need to plug it up and charge it super fast and then go, um, because it's never really dying. And I don't find myself in a situation where I'm like, I'm struggling and I really need like 50% battery because I'm about to go somewhere and I'm not going to have access to a charger. I, my vehicle is always, if I'm not home, I'm with my vehicle, which my vehicle always have a power bank inside and I can charge my phone inside. So it's not like I'm without or anything. So I don't, I don't have battery anxiety realistically, like a lot of people do online. And another thing I want to talk about is like the hardware. I really enjoy the hardware. This is the first pixel that I feel that is on par with like Samsung's quality of, of build. And I said a quality of build, build quality. <laughs> with that being said you know it's really on par i really enjoy it i hope that the pixel 8 and series actually comes out and and have kind of like the same type of build quality and everything like that because it feels really really good i actually love the build quality of it um the dual screen is freaking amazing to have i'm i'm all sold on foldables at this point right now i'm not even sure if i want to get the pixel 8 i if i do get it i'm gonna be totally honest with you it's just to cover it for you guys and is a waste of money for me because obviously I'm buying all my devices and I'm a little, you know, I'm in a little air about that. Maybe I might need to start a fundraiser so I can try to get this phone because it would be literally a phone that I would buy just to cover it for you on this channel. And then it'd be sitting on my desk or my, uh, in my drawer somewhere or somewhere sitting somewhere. And that's almost a thousand dollars. If it's going to be raised up to a thousand dollars that I heard or $800 sitting around. And I just don't have that type of funds realistically to be buying stuff like that, that I'm not going to use. I normally buy stuff that I actually use, but I think I'm just really sold on foldable. So I'm excited more to go from this pixel phone to the two to the three, to the four and to the five. And you know, just the future of the pixels foldables. That's kind of like where I'm at now. I just kind of like want to bypass the slab version of the pixels and just kind of like cover the foldables. But I know that you guys, my audience love when I cover the pixels and stuff like that. So I'm going to try my best to still get that without hurting my pockets and cover it for you somehow. So we're going to figure that out. I got you guys. I'm gonna try my best. I promise I will. So yeah, just work with me. And the last thing I really want to talk about is like the pixel features and animations and all the goodies that you get. I mean, when you get this pixel, you're still getting everything that you may love about the regular pixels inside a foldable. And you get that in a really nice, compact, pockable phone. And you can just slide it right in there and you pop it out and open it up and you have a bigger canvas for everything that you love doing and you still get those sweet pixel animations um, the smoothness you still get those pixel features you're not missing any of those pixel features that you love and why you have a pixel now and you get that on a larger scale i get that the price of this is really kind of like big and most people it's you know it's not affordable for most people and i know a lot of youtubers and people on social media is kind of like stirring you away telling you that this is a first gen product it's not good but i'm telling you i can't tell that this is a first gen product it feels really good it feels really solid i'm 100 sure when like the second or third generation come around then that's when this one will feel like a first gen because they may refine a lot of the design they may refine more of the software and everything else but the good thing about the software is that if they refine the software on the third or fourth gen it's more than likely going to be on the first gen it's just the hardware that may change the most that will give you that feel. And we're talking about the bezels because that's what most people are complaining about, which I have zero complaints about the bezels. But let's be realistic. Half of the people are complaining about the hardware and the bezels. If the bezels was thin, I wouldn't be bringing this up right now. But other than that, all the software features and all the animations are there so you can really enjoy it. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just a sit down and talk and 
just let you know how I feel about this phone. And I will catch you in the next video. Delvon Digital. Peace.